Hi everyone, today I'm going to give a presentation on Chopin's piano pedagogy. First, Chopin, as one of the greatest composers and performers in the history of music, he has not only become a, a monument in artistic creation, but also made outstanding contributions in the field of piano teaching. In piano teaching, he insisted on the principle of starting from the music itself, on the basis of scientific treatment of performance technology and expression to, to develop uh, students' artistic personalities, there is no doubt that Chopin's piano teaching, while adhering the tradition, has pushed the piano teaching level of the middle uh, 19th century to a new stage and has a profound impact on later generations. Um, Chopin has taught and taught piano for 17 years. Uh, when he also divided his time as a composer, he devoted summers to composition and winters to his piano students. Unfortunately, he failed to record all of his um, piano and pedagogy things because of the, his terrible um, physical condition. Only the rough points left. However, according to his teaching documents recorded by a large of his students, we can almost understand Chopin's teaching philosophy and practical methods. Chopin's philosophy to, of teaching is to treat the music as a language, starting from the music itself, on the basis of scientific treatment of performance, technology, and expressive force. Students' artistic personality should be developed. About the lesson schedule, there are different versions, but in general, for regular students, two lessons a week. A week. Each lesson lasts about 45 minutes. However, it, in fact, it has many uh, exceptions, especially for his gifted students. Um, now I'm going to focus on some basic rules of, uh, that Chopin attempted to use in his teaching. Firstly, finger position. Chopin considered that the ten fingers are different in terms of the length. And each finger has its own specialty and makes different kinds of tongue colors. He prefers to put the fingers in a natural position, he, so he opposed to uh, opposed starting scales from C major. Um, he thought that black keys was suitable for long fingers, while white keys was suitable for uh, short fingers. So the C major was against natural characteristics of fingers. He preferred to start from B major, which is more in accord with in accord with nature. And signal the seated position based on the effects of Japan's ideal sound. He required his students to sit, sit a little bit higher. Chopin preferred natural and beautiful touch, so he thought that the flexibility of the whole body was very necessary. He stressed the importance of keeping relaxed. And third thing is the wrist. Chopin considered that the wrist should be flexible, and the wrist is like the bridge between the fingers and the arm. Um, the wrist is related to whether the beat of the arm can be delivered to the fingertips. On the other hand, the wrist plays, plays an important role when we want to play the guitar and cantembo sound. The wrist help finish the transfer of power between each two fingers. Chopin insisted that hands must fall naturally. And he mentions that wrist movements are like breathing in vocal music. The wrists should be lifted naturally between braces. And the fourth one is fingerings. fingerings. Chopin's idol fingerings on, is different from the traditional ways. In traditional piano pedagogy, the fingerings served for performance. Um, in, in other words, fingerings are designed for the convenience and uh, comfort of playing. However, Chopin stressed to um, show different layers and tongue color on the piano, so his fingerings are designed for effects of the performance though sometimes a little bit inconvenient in a physical way. For example, he preferred to play repeat notes for, with one finger, and the thumb can rotate through, through the fourth or fifth finger, the thumb can ro rota rotate on the black keys, the finger change can happen without any sound. The same finger can play different notes in succession. The long fingers can cross over the short fingers, one finger can slide from one tongue uh, to another. 
Chopin was extremely strict with his fingerings when he was teaching. He didn't allow students to change fingers casually after deciding them already. And the next one is a pedal. Pedal's application is an important innovation in Chopin's piano pedagogy. Also, the attention to the application of sustained pedal is a symbol of the development of the Romantic music period. Chopin paid much attention to the effects that pedal created. He wants to retain the continuity of bass accompaniment chords and highlight the full um, sound of high-pitched melody. So he was very picky in the applications of pedals. And then last one is the rubato. I think that this is like innovated achievement made by Chopin. Uh, this word is not created by Chopin, created by Chopin. And the word refers to a free speed flexion. The length of some some notes increases or decreases as the speed speed slows down or speeds up slightly. About the Chopin's rubato is that the complement part should always be on time and the melodic line will be free to fit it. Um, so uh, in conclusion, Chopin's piano pedagogy is innovative and quite different from that in a traditional way. However, his innovations did promote the in development of piano teaching since he didn't publish all his thought officially. According to his students' records, we can also learn a lot. Furthermore, it provides useful inf information for late generations to study on the ped pedagogy area. When he left, still makes sense for us to explore.